It may be AEW all in this weekend, but the fans watching Dynamite certainly were not all in. And in fact, a lot of them were all out by the time we got to the final segment. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling here. Time to break down the AEW Dynamite quarter hour ratings for the August 21st show on TBS. Now, first of all, again, we've got consistency. Quarter one starts off with the highest quarter, and the show just seems to go down gradually, gradually, gradually. But this time, there was a big drop off. And it's not good because the drop off came when they had their world championship stuff. And it's never a good look when your world champion is bringing in the lowest ratings of the show. Regardless of what segment you put them in, that shouldn't be the case in my opinion. You could put Austin in the worst segment possible. He's not giving you the lowest rating of the show. It's just not happening. Th there needs to be a title change. I think Brian Danielson 100% has to win. And you could argue, well, Brian Danielson was also in these segments in here. And I would agree with that. But I just think it's more interesting going forward with Danielson as the champ rather than Strickland. But anyway, let's move into quarter one. 8 o'clock to 8.15. Britt Baker, Mercedes Money, live promo with Camille. And then after that, we got a Chris Jericho backstage promo. This kicked off the show with 840,000 viewers and a 338 thousand fuels in the key demo so the highest quarter in terms of fuse and the highest quarter in terms of key demo no doubt jericho will be bragging about this but what he can't brag about is quarter two 8 15 to 8 30 p.m there was a loss of 13 percent in fuelship down 734,000 now that is a loss of 106,000 and the key demo was down six percent down to 318,000 so yeah jericho brags about the numbers but Quarter two, he was in it, and it lost a shitload of them. It was Jericho versus Tommy Billington, and then a learning triangle with Hook. So, yeah, Jericho not really delivering there. Quarter three, 8.30 to 8.45, Tony Storm versus Soraya. Then we had a post-match with Mariah May, and then we got the conglomeration backstage promo. This went down 7%, viewership now at 683,000. And a fuller 3% down in the key demo. So already we're under 683,000. The show is over 150k down. And we're only into quarter three. Moving to quarter four. We've got the Will Osprey MGF live promo. This went up 3% in viewership to 702,000. So that, I mean that's good. MGF and Osprey actually delivering a little bit. Went up 6% in key demo. So it's nice to see an increase there. Then quarter five, nine o'clock to 9.15, it was a continuation of the Osprey MGF live angle. And then we got an Evil Uno and Hangman Adam Page backstage promo. Now, surprisingly, this only lost 1,000 in Fuse. <laughs> so 0% change, but it went down 1,000. So it went from 7.02 in quarter four to 7.01 in quarter five. Key demo went down slightly 5%, down to 3.08. Honestly, though, I'm surprised it didn't go down more with the whole... Evil Uno, ha Hangman page shit. Voice broke there, guys. <laughs> evil Uno must be casting an evil spell on me. But, um, yeah, surprised didn't go down more. Quarter six, 9.15 to 9.30, we've got Kasuka Chika Okada versus Claudio Cascanoli. This went up 1% in viewership to 706,000. And it went up 3% in key demo to 317,000. So, people interested in Okada versus Claudio Cascanoli. I mean, good for the people, I guess. Uh, quarter seven, Claudio and Okada continued. We got a post match with the Young Bucks. We got Darby Allen and FTR versus the Young Bucks and Jack Perry. This went down three percent in viewership to six hundred eighty-three thousand, and down three percent in key demo to three hundred and nine thousand. So, Young Bucks come on, and all of a sudden, <laughs> nobody cares. Uh, quarter eight. 9.45, 10 p.m. We get Darby Allen and FTR versus the Young Bucks and Jack Perry continued. Post-match with the acclaimed Billy Gunn, Osprey and Danielson backstage. And this lost 9%. 9% loss here. Now the viewership is at 619. Rey Mysterio, Booyaka Booyaka, 619. 619,000. And a further 2% loss in the key demo. Down to 304,000. Any surprise to see the Young Bucks being in quarter eight with a massive drop off of 9%? Honestly, no. <laughs> I mean, every single week the Young Bucks are like a cancel to the ratings. Just a lot of people have even commented on our channel, comment on our feds. As soon as the Young Bucks come out, they turn off. And it looks like a lot of people do that because the numbers are consistent. 
I, I couldn't tell you the last time the Young Bucks actually appeared in a segment that actually increased in ratings. I don't know if it's happened. It's been a long, long time since that happened. I mean, probably the CM Punk thing. That's probably the last time they actually, you know, got a rating when they showed the CM Punk clip. Anyway, down 9% in the final quarter. And then we go into the overrun. The overrun from 10 o'clock to 10.09 just featured solely Swerve Strickland and Brian Danielson. A live promo between the two. The World Championship feud. And it went down again 9% in viewership. Down to 564,000. Shocking. 564,000. In the overrun there. That's the World Championship feud. 564,000. And in the key demo, it went down 4% as well. To 293,000. It was the only quarter or slash overrun. The only segment to go under 300,000 in the key demo. Which sucked. And the only uh, quarter slash segment to go under 600,000 in viewership. So, it's sad to see. Swerve Strickland, Brian Danielson. This is their... I'm going to assume it's their last confrontation because I doubt they're going to do much on Collision. So this is Dynamite's the A show. This is the last you know face off before the big pay per view before All In. Last chance to get people to buy tickets, buy the pay per view, and it, it, it drops massively. Nine percent in viewership down to five hundred and sixty four thousand. Not a good look, guys. Not a good look at all. So yeah, there you go. There's your AEW quarter hour ratings. It's, it's sad to see, man. You, you see these guys in the main event and, and they're losing ratings like this. It just shouldn't be the case. I mean, you look at WWE and Roman Reigns comes back and you look at like the numbers the YouTube clips are doing. You look at the numbers the quarters are doing. And yeah, I'm, I bash WWE a lot, but it, it, at least when something big happens in WWE or, or they bring back like a, a big star, then the ratings show it. You know, the ratings show that, wow, this guy's actually making a difference. I mean, you look at AEW, and is anybody really making a difference? Not really. Yeah, there's some people that do slightly better than others, but th there's nobody saving this show, you know? There's nobody dragging this show over a million fuels. It's just not happening. So, yeah, no surprise from start to finish. It kind of just got lower, lower, and lower. Disappointing, though, to see Swerve Strickland and Brian Danielson losing 9% and coming in with 564,000 in the overrun. But uh, it is what it is, guys. Tony Kian, you know, he put this shit in motion and he's got to fix it. That's it, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Also, guys, we're going to be doing another giveaway here for AEW All In. So make sure you check the community section of the channel. It's pretty simple. We will have a template of all the matches happening at All In. You simply copy and paste the template and predict who will win each match. You get points for each correct prediction. And whoever gets the most predictions correct... Whoever gets the most points will win the prize money. So, yeah, make sure you go check that out. Make sure you enter that. It's free to enter. It doesn't cost anything. Plus, it's a little bit of fun to see who can do the best in the prediction game. So, make sure you go check it out, guys. And we'll catch you in the next one. Been Fog Wrestling. Thanks for watching. And peace.